Did you buy a King's Awning and now you regret it? We're gonna fix that in this video. And we're gonna do a King's Delete and we're gonna get rid of this King's logo. So now that you're not embarrassed of putting this awning on your four-wheel drive. You need two things to do this, King's Delete. One, you need some vinyl paint that matches the color of your awning. In this case, a nice kind of shiny satin black to go over top of this. And then some masking tape so you can mask off an area and keep it nice and square. When you're painting anything, don't be an idiot. Do the prep work and make sure you clean up the area as best as you can. In this case, just grab whatever's laying around and give it a good old wipe down. This awning's filthy. The next step we want to do is start scrapping up the area. This is going to help the new paint stick. So don't go crazy, but just give it a little light scruff up. That is to help it stick. Do yourself a favor and actually read the instructions on the back of your paint cans, which is actually really good. They tell you to remove the dirt and wax, scruff up the surface a little bit, and then apply a couple of coats, and you're done. And that's what we're gonna do. So clean up, scruff it up, and then let's mask off and get painting. So when I'm masking off this area, I wanna get a nice square because Although I'm removing the King's logo now, I will be replacing it with another logo later on in the future. So, I wanna get something that's kind of square so that when I paint on my next logo on top of it, I can use this square box I'm gonna paint as the background of that logo. So, this is terrible bloody masking tape, hey? I'm not reading with it at all. Let me just rip this bit off here. Yeah, so I'm not too stressed about having the paint not perfectly match because I will actually end up putting another logo or I actually just want to put my car's name in this spot, really. I know it's a bit terrible but it's much better than having the bloody king's logo there by this stage of the process you should have your area masked off mine's terribly masked off you should also really hate yourself because you bought a king's awning and now you're resorting to painting it to making it look good but that's all part of the process so stick around if that's what you're feeling this is the fun part let's start shaking up the can and get spraying this cost me 15 bucks from super cheap auto so go and get it because it will make your awning look better. Now, if you read the back, it says spray, you know, a couple of inches away. Let's give it a crack, see how it turns out. Into my fucking finger. The other way, guys. Red away from you. So we don't want to get it too wet and have it start to drip. I can't believe I spray it on my hand. What a dickhead. I've done about four coats and I'm pretty happy with it. A little run mark there. But like I said, I'm going to paint over this with another logo. So I'm not too stressed about how good the paint is. Let's have a look at how this comes off. Probably should wait a little bit longer. I've just done another coat about a minute ago. But I'm actually really excited to see what this looks like. Bloody hell, it's actually not too bad, hey. You know where I screwed up? My bloody scratched too much high and low. Ah, oh, you idiot. What I should have done and what you guys should do is mask off first and then scratch. You know what though? It's not half bad though. It looks pretty good. In light you can see a little bit of the king's reflection, but it's actually not too bad. Stick around guys. I will be making another video about how to paint another logo on top of this. Um, 
I might end up actually spraying over these scratch marks so they disappear. Other than that, that's how you do a King's Delete. So this is what you're looking for, the vinyl spray, tape it up, scratch it up a little bit, give it a couple of whirls, give it a couple of layers, and you're done. Don't be an idiot like me and spray your hand. It comes out of the red side of the can, not the blue side. Thanks guys, keep well.